Now, in line with its energy transition aspirations, the federal government has been urged to address the burdens faced by communities heat by the effect of greenhouse gases. Uh, this was the position of a group, Spaces for Change, at the presentation of research findings of a report on Nigeria's energy transition plan. Destiny Momo reports. Nigeria is determined to use gas as its transition pathway to reduce emissions to achieve net zero by 2060 and drive economic growth. Given previous unsuccessful attempts to unlock gas, a realistic and deliberate approach is required to achieve those ends. Despite the setbacks of climate change in Nigeria, all hope is not lost. Victoria Ibezim Ohere is the Executive Director of Spaces for Change. She speaks on some of the emerging opportunities that offer prospects for accelerating the transition process. Fossil fuels, because fossil fuels produce a lot of carbon. So they're emitting carbon into the atmosphere, which is responsible for climate change. So as you see in the country, we're experiencing intense rainfalls, heavy flooding. Recently, many states were submerged because of heavy flooding. We are seeing desertification. We are seeing droughts in the northern parts of the country. We are seeing headsmen moving southwards because of you know, um, desertification going on in some parts of the country. So because of the radical changes in climatic conditions, Nigeria knows that it needs to take steps to reduce its emission levels. The group's research probes the alternatives placed before communities and non-state actors whose livelihoods are dependent on fossil fuel extraction and local refining against the backdrop of the global energy transition. Other speakers touch on some possible recommendations for change. Nigeria right now, one of our concerns with Natural Resource Governance Institute is saying that Nigeria wants transition, but how are we going to transition? How are we going to phase out gas, for instance? Nigeria had said that it wants to use gas as a transition fuel, but it has not yet resolved all the infrastructure challenges, the legacy issues. Um, we now want to ramp up gas, but what's the effect, effect of that going to be on people's livelihoods? How is it going to affect the environment? Nigeria already has a very high gas flaring um, quotation. Um, we have been trying to commercialize gas to reduce that for a very long time. There's the energy transition plan that spells out what government wants to do. And my, my, the way I look at that is that in this country, we don't have issues with putting things on paper, but it's actually translating paper into action that is a problem. So you go out and put out policies that you are putting together, which you have not consulted the people, so that the people can localize it within their environment. The experts say the government needs to put in place safety needs to cushion the effect of transition-induced job losses in order to minimize diverse impacts. Destiny Momo, Plus TV News. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.